Now, when Tower Bridge was opened in 1898 by the Prince of Wales, not the present Prince of Wales, the, a previous one, there were two steam engines which provided hydraulic power, which then supplied the eight hydraulic engines which wound the bridge open and closed. If you remember at Tower Bridge, the roadways each weigh about a thousand tons, but they are counterbalanced and they're just opened and closed with a great big cogwheel. The system of storing the power was a thing called accumulators, which were basically great big plungers in a tower, and they were loaded up with pig iron, such as they produced 750 pounds per square inch water pressure. So when a ship came along, if you wanted to go through Tower Bridge, you simply turned the water tap on, down came the accumulator, round went the hydraulic engines, and up came the bridge. Now, for one descent of the accumulator, you could open and close the bridge twice. So depending on how busy you were, um, the steam engines would be running, keeping the system topped up. Because once the water had been through the hydraulic engines, it was returned to the south side of the river, to the engine house, where the steam engines pushed the water back against 750 pounds per square inch water pressure into the accumulators.